Hi YouTube, um, <clears throat> yet another video. What's that noise? What's the drain? Um, yeah, so I just took Daniel's stuff around to Lee's. Lee helped me. Um, Yeah. <clears throat> I just feel really upset at the moment. <sighs> I don't know what to do because. He told me earlier he loves me, and yet, for the last couple of months, all he's been saying to me is that, do you want me to go back to London? And I keep saying no. Why do you want to go back to London? I don't know, just... Actually, no, I don't say that. No, he just says, I don't know, he just keeps saying to me, do you want me to go back to London? And I don't know, I just... I just, and I haven't been really answering the question really, I've just been... <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I just need to stay away from relationships for a long time. A couple of years off from that. <sighs> because that's really hard, taking down your stuff around to Lee's. Still got boxes of uh, boxes of tobacco in there because I bought him three boxes of tobacco in Tenerife. Um, I bought him ten fifty grams of amber leaf, um, a box, and then I bought him another ten fifty grams of amber leaf. Um, and I think he bought a box of tobacco, which he's no, he bought a, he bought two hundred fags. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> just feels really hard because my feelings are really strong for him, but he just wants to mess me around all the time. I ask, I say to him, I say, "Do you love me?" And he just, he just offhandly says, "You know, I love you." It's just, it's just his tone a lot of the time, it's just, <sighs> I don't know, as I say, I'm a very sensitive person and I've just felt very unloved for the last couple of months, ever since he started sleeping on the sofa, um, And he doesn't really give me any clear directions on when he was coming back as well, when he went to Redditch. First he said Saturday, then he said Sunday, and then he said next week. And it's Sunday night now, about half eleven Sunday night. And I still don't know when he's getting his stuff or when he, or whether he's going to... It's just very up in the air, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I think my head's been messed up a bit as well the last couple of months and even before that it was messed up um, and I think I was looking for love and affection from him and it just hasn't seemed to work out has it because the more I've I don't know it just, just feels just like, feels like there's something missing when I'm with him. It just feels like there's something missing, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's love. Um, but as I say, every time I go around to Lee's, he's always outside on the phone. 
FaceTiming his friends in London and I feel like what's the point of me going around to Leeds just to see him doing that um, and then when I try and link him he's not phoning it. when I'm back at the house and I try and link him he'll answer the phone so I'm thinking well is he just doing it just to get a reaction out of me or And I just felt for last, and I haven't told him this, so a lot of this I haven't told him because it's very hard for me to communicate with him. I do ring him a couple of times every day, um, and he, I'm look, I'm lucky if he rings me once a day. Um, and I think that's been, I think I've been bottling that up for a while as well. The fact that thinking that he doesn't want to be with me, and like. Yeah. <clears throat> I think my mistake was spending every day with him. I think that's all what my mistake was. Um, but when I ha when I've had days apart from him, I've missed him, and that's why I've seen him. And then we start seeing each other again every. We start seeing each other every day again, and then we have another argument or something, and then we have a few days apart and just. But it's mainly the same things. It's mainly me feeling. I feel like I'm a needy person, and I don't want to be a needy person. And that's how I feel like I'm being. I feel like I'm being a needy person. Just. <laughs> and I'm trying to be strong and just. But it's so hard, and I'm just. I'm just hoping that I can sleep tonight because. I haven't been sleeping most the last couple of nights thinking about him in Redditch. As I say, Redditch is a problem for me because I was cheated on a few times in Redditch, so I find Redditch very hard to... I haven't really been to Redditch very often this last year. I, may, I maybe went, went once, uh, maybe twice, maybe even three times, but I haven't really... <sighs> you know what I'm trying to say, that Redditch was just... Because I was cheated on a few times in Redditch, I'm automatically thinking, what's he doing? And I know he's in Redditch because he's told me he's in Redditch, but he reckons I know where he is. I don't know where he is. I don't know. I, all I know is that he's in Abbeydale. Well, well, that's what he tells me, he's in Abbeydale. And I don't know much about Abbeydale. Um, I know it's next to Churchill, but that's all I know about Abbeydale. Um, you know? Um, I just don't know anything about that area, and yeah, so that's that. Mm. Hi, I don't know who they are. Two people just um, come round. Um, like two people, two people just walk around that corner, and I'm thinking, who are they? <sighs> I just wish he would open up with me. I mean, I really do. He just, he just. <sighs> he says, you know what, uh, you know I love you. I'm thinking, no, I don't actually, because. Many times I wanted to be with you. I've, I've wanted to be with him, and all he says is, "I'm going to stay around Lee's," and I've been like, oh, "I want you to stay at the house," kind of thing. And he's like, and "He's like, oh, I think I've even said that to him." I says, "Oh, well, I want you to stay with me at the house," and he's like, "He's like, oh no, you know we don't sleep very well in that bed, do we?" Um, and I'm like, "Oh, oh okay." Um, I don't know. I just felt like, very rejected and just. Yeah, just like, what's the point of it all? What is the point of it all? Um. Yeah. Right. It just makes me wonder how he would feel if I was to say to him, oh, I'm going to go and see my friends um, in Shrewsbury uh, with Lee, uh, you know, and not invite him just makes me wonder how he would feel about that 
And if I, said, if I suddenly said to him, how would you feel if I had a few days up at my friend Steve's in Birmingham, for instance? Or Do you know what I mean? He, he would be put on the... Well, I would hope that he was a bit shocked and taken back by that, but... Because at least then I'd know that he loves me. But I feel like I'm when I'm with him. I feel like I'm with a piece of ice a lot of the time. He just there's just no emotion there whatsoever. And he's like he's like oh I'll come from London. I'll come from the east end of London, and that's how it is. And it's my upbringing and this that and the other. And I'm like well, and I'm thinking well, what can I just what? I don't know what he wants me to. Say. I don't know what he wants me to say about that really, just... <sighs> better on my window light now, aren't I? <sighs> I just don't know what he... What am I talking about now? Um... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm trying to understand him, but I just... It just seems really hard, it really does, I'm just, I just, I think I need to be with someone older than me, I think the, ne the next relationship I have I need to be with someone older, because I found that anyone younger than me tends to mess me around, um, either emotionally or mind games or physically mess me around or, so, yeah. Because I'm, I'm looking for a committed relationship, a, a loving relationship, a faithful relationship, you know, and and to go to friends, you know, he, he he's always come to my friends, so I just don't know, don't know why, don't know why he could I couldn't come to his friends in Redditch. <sighs> I feel like I'm waffling on a bit now. But All, all, I all I really want from him is to feel loved. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's all I want to feel is to feel loved from him. And I'm just not. It's not going to happen, is it? it? Doesn't matter what I do. It's not going to happen. That's why I'm better off staying out. Of, that's why I'm better off staying single. Because I'm not going to get what I want, am I? People are so selfish, it's just... I don't know. <sighs> I've took some photos around to leave with me and him. There's pictures of us at the Manchester Pride. There's pictures of us walk, walking up the Licky Hills. <laughs> I think that's the thing that hurts me the most, the fact that I love him and I don't feel loved in return. And I felt like that for a while now, a good while. I felt like that for months, ever since he started saying I'm going to sleep on the sofa or I'm going to sleep around Lee's. And then he come, and then he, and then if I meant, I've mentioned it once I think to him, and he was like, and then he started getting stroppy and saying, hold on a minute, you told, you told me to go around Lee's. And I'm thinking, well, I only said that because. I said that a few months ago, and I said that because he was sleeping on the sofa rather than in the bed with me, and it was starting to really, I could feel myself getting really worked up and really depressed, lying in the bed on my own with him downstairs on the sofa, and I felt like I didn't want to lodge, I don't want a lodger, I want a partner in my life, and I felt like, he, he felt like he was a lodger, well no, I felt like he was a lodger, not he felt like he was a lodger. 
It's just he seems happy. He seems happy with the situation of him sleeping on the sofa, but I didn't. I was just. 